Yeah, well, tell me, tell me what you remember about um, the uh, the railway station and the signal box. What do you remember? Oh, I, I, I used to go up in the signal box right. with the signal man. How did you get to know the signal man? I can't remember. All right. Seeing how it worked, like good morning to him. Like we all, everybody used to say good morning to one another or good afternoon. Yeah, was you uh, still a schoolboy then? Oh, yeah. So you was, you was at school, and uh, would you, was it on the way to school or on the way back? Any time, any time I've ever seen him. Oh, so he'd be doing, he'd be outside doing stuff, and you'd yeah, you'd just I'd get talking to him. Say good morning and good afternoon or whatever. And then what? He'd, he'd let you go up into the signal box itself. Yeah. To and you used to didn't you say you used to operate some of the levers and that? I did. Didn't you used to operate some of the levers? Yeah. How, how did you get involved in that? He, he told me to have a go. Oh, so he showed you what to do. Mm. Yeah, and uh, he gave me that big key, like I told you. Yeah. Down to the driver. Or his mate, it's his mate, the driver, the driver. Right. And they take the key off me, and I, I don't know what, they put it in the, something, in the engine, then come in, when they come back up to the station, yeah. they used to give it back now, and they used to put it in, in the machine, in the, in the, in the signal box. Oh, right, yeah, because that's something called it, the exchange of single line tokens, is what that was called. That's yeah. what it was officially called. I don't know what it is called. So, so you used to give give it to the driver, or or the signalman would do that. Yeah. Right. Okay. What other things did you have to do in, or what else did he show you to do there? Um, just to write on a, on the down on the book, whatever. What was the sort of things you had to write down? I got bloody no idea, man. All ah, right. And didn't you say you used to have like a cup of tea and that with him? Mm. Yeah, <laughs> that's good, good, isn't it? And uh, didn't you say that the uh, Whoever it was used to bring sandwiches in as well. Mm. All oh, right, okay. So that was uh, something somewhat different to do. Did any of the other boys or any of the other schoolmates go in and see no. him as well? It was just you. He got to know you, really. Mm. So it was just you that used to do it then. What about the train station itself? Did you did you know any other per, uh, people that used to work oh, there? I knew the station master, and I knew one of the porters because he used to live next door to me. His name was Bill Manship, wasn't it? That's right. Yeah. Uh, how how did you get to know him? How, how do I get to know him? Like I do with any neighbours. Right, so. But didn't you say he came knocking on your door once? I, um. Uh, Arthur, Arthur Davis, he come, he, he was coming back back from Australia. Right. And of course, he had an Australian act in the army, he was. Yeah. And, uh. Of course, we decided to go to Capelli. Yeah. We all went to Capelli and, uh, of course, he we went to a pub. And, uh, of course, I had uh, or just one drink at all. Right. And when I when I got out, out in the fresh air, up he comes. All right. Of course, we went, walked up, we walked up to the station. Yeah. Got on the train to go home. And, uh, uh, we let, uh, let last track, and I seen a fence, wall in the fence. Yep. So I went through there. To, it had to go in uh, around, around there. Yep. And uh, of course, I went, went home. I was all, all on my own. Right. And um, when I got home, uh, my, my father and mother were sitting around the fire with my uncle Bill and his wife, but I can't think of his wife's name. Who was your uncle Bill? Which one was that? Uh... Was my he mom, my mum's brother? Mum's brother, yeah, okay, yeah. And uh, of course, I took my jacket off and put it on the back of the back of the chair, and I said good night. Yeah. And uh, of course, I went to bed. Went to bed, didn't I? Right. So, what about Bill Bill Manship then? When did he come knocking at the door? Uh, about two days after. Right. He come knocking at the door and accused you of what? I haven't paid to come on the train. What, a couple of days beforehand? After. Yeah, a couple of days afterwards. Yeah. So, he, so he'd somehow seen you go through the fence, is that right? He, he must have seen me walk through the fence, I don't know. But you still had the ticket on you, didn't you? I still had the ticket. I said, I had the ticket, yeah. Yeah. And what did he say? Oh, I'm sorry. All right. The father said to him, don't accuse anybody and let you know. Yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah. Father was ready to hit him. Oh, was it? <laughs> and he was. You said Bill Manship was a neighbour of yours, was he? Mm. All right. So he couldn't say much about that then, could he? No. If he, if it's the case that you had the ticket still from a couple of days, but how can he come and accuse you a couple of days later? I can't understand that. I don't know why that's, that. That's a long time, isn't it? Mm. Blinking long time. Is that the only time that you ever had issues with him? Mm. I mean, did you used to say hello to him on the on the train station though, and that? No, I didn't used to bother much with him. Ah, uh, didn't you? What, what about the station master? Do you remember him? I remember him, but I don't know his name no more. Because he would live at at the at the house behind the, the yeah, train station, didn't he? Ah, right. Yeah, okay. the other side, yeah. Yeah. 